Okay, welcome back. And I've done a couple things in the interim. I installed the um, the handlebar stays, handlebar brackets. I have the handlebar up here. I have a couple pieces here that I'm plating right now. I have I installed the fender. Fender's been painted. I pre-installed. You see, that's not even on right. I pre-installed the um, the rear tail light and the reflectors. It just makes life easy. I've done the same for the front fender as well. I'll put the front fender on toward the end. Headlight bucket is ready. And I'm probably gonna put on, well, I've gotta do the coil. So I'm gonna do the coil. I'll put the rear wheel on. I'll put the shocks on. And again, I have some Coney shocks that are just look that'll just look spectacular on this bike. And I will um, um, and we're gradually going to start tightening everything up. Um, metaphorically and physically. And the bike should look really good at the end. And again, keep in mind this was a I don't want to say it was a it was kind of a pile of parts but it really was a pile of parts and we already worked on i'm ordering a um another starter uh, the carbs have already been cleaned they're in pieces on my kitchen table so i'm going to rebuild those i only have the right side i have four right side carbs I ordered a left side carb that should come here like any day now. Um, and I'm hoping that I have um, the exhaust headers. I think I have mufflers for it. I have like nice Mac mufflers for it. So it's, um, um, I'm going to pick up too. So we're getting down to the finer points of getting everything done. And I mean, it will look crazy fantastic. Here is the throttle cable and it is and again, it is So, the throttle cable is going to come up through here. It'll come up, wrap around through here behind the tank, and come right through here. So it is like the perfect length. And I will, um, well, I can put it on right now, actually. So. Wow, somebody left their thing in here already. Here's the old, here's the old ball actually. Wow, it actually was not a ball, it was a, uh, um, it was basically a coupler. So, I normally squeeze this down I'm not going to squeeze it down right now because I'm not done. So here is the um, There it is. So obviously when there's pressure on it. Well, it dropped out of the ball actually. So, but 
but this will loop around like this and it will be it is actually the perfect length and then we have the uh, the brake lever that goes here and I think I have the brake cab cable um, we already have the choke cable well or the enricher cable so that is going to attach up right here just like right there so that attaches right there and there's like a a slide here so that really fits perfectly as well and on the other side we have the clutch cable and that's a little bit longer because it's a five speed it actually routes on this side of the bike down over there so that is coming otherwise i think i have one anyway i ordered one too and it's um all the parts are i think kind of ready so it's just now me assembling the bike um the only thing obviously i have not done the brakes um i have fluids in all of the um in the in the engine case i have oil in the transmission i have gear oil and i have i have oil in the rear end as well so it is kind of doing it just so that it's if i see any leaks now's the time i'm going to see leaks and one thing i would like to point out is that this rear end is a slightly unusual rear end in that the um, basically the um, I don't want to call it the drain bolt but it is the fill bolt is is low um, it's actually lower than it's supposed to be and I'm looking to see if I have one that's right And, and I do, it's very dark. I'll show it to you tomorrow. Um, but this bolt is very low. Um, and my other bolt is like upper right around here. So when you fill this up, you actually filling it up to here because it gets about 366 millimeters. Um, let me lift that up while I lift it up. So You're filling up the oil to about here, actually. So it is, um, this is well below the fill level. That's, that's really like the problem. People would only fill it up, I think, to that level, which is ultimately no bueno. And So I have some, I have some beautiful shocks here too. So really nice. And so we're going to put these on. Um, so stay tuned. It's going to go really fast now. Um, and we probably can have this bike running in maybe a day or so. Um, this is the week between Christmas and New Year's, and I'm really not working. So I was going to hopefully wrap this up in the next couple days. Um, and once I get it operational, that's when, that's when a lot of the work really starts. I've got to really work on the brakes. I've got to get those dialed in. I've got to dial in the clutch. And... It is the carburetors, yes, but they're a lot easier than you might think, so stay tuned.